Hi and welcome to 30 Days of Social Media. I'm Susie Daphnis of the Australian Business Women's Network. Today we're looking at seven ways to be more social using social media. I'd like to start by showing you a tool we installed recently to the Australian Business Women's Network website. One of the more popular parts of our website is our article library where we've posted hundreds of business articles relevant to women in business. Recently we posted this article about Sarah Lederman of Relish This who is one of our members and who recently completed the MentorNet program. At the bottom of the article we have a link here that says share this and when I hover over that link up pops a box of a number of different social networks and by clicking on these I can post information about this article on my social networks. I can also email this page to someone who I think would find it of interest. Now you'll see this sort of functionality on a number of sites now but it may also be functionality that you want to add to your website to allow your customers to share the information that you post with their own social networks and with their customers. One of the aspects of blogs you may have noticed is the ability to add comments and some authors choose not to have a comments function available. The Australian Business Women's Network has the comments function turned on but we do moderate the comments so that we know that what's being posted is relevant to the conversation that's being had there on that post. So here's a post from earlier in this program from day one of 30 days of social media and at the bottom of the page you'll see that we've had a number of responses to that post. Now why would I want to comment on someone else's blog? Well there's a couple of things. One it makes the author aware of me and especially if there's a level of commonality or a possible allegiance and alliance it's a good way to get to know the author. It's also a way to show your thought leadership and contribute to a conversation about something that you're interested in and you don't have to even agree with what the post is but if you can add value to those who are reading the post through your contribution then it's a way for you to share and connect using social media. Facebook makes it really easy to be social and that's probably one of the reasons it's become so very successful. Here on this page you see just a stream of different posts that I've made over time and you can see on some of them people have used the opportunity to either give it a thumbs up saying I like this which is one of the functions that Facebook has or to add a comment about what I've said and similarly I add comments when those in my community in Facebook say something of interest or something to which I can contribute. Now sometimes they're personal conversations but sometimes they're commenting on professional issues such as I need a book about how to use Facebook, can you recommend one? And I would use the comment function to make that recommendation. Similarly on Twitter um, I can comment on someone else's post or they can comment on mine and it is about the two-way conversations and so if you're only listening in Twitter then you're missing out on the opportunity to really engage with people and to have them contribute to you. So one of the easiest ways to be social using Twitter is to join the conversations that are happening and don't join them in a way that is very self-promoting but rather in a way that adds value. This is a website uh, rushfaster.com.au. I bought this bag recently um, to use to go to the gym and one of the things I noticed on this website which is actually a really great website if you want an example of an Australian retailer who's doing online and e-commerce very very well. At the bottom of the page they have the ability for me to leave a review around this product. Now Amazon allows you to do reviews a number of websites do but I wanted to show you this one because a not only can I write a review but I can also see some of the live customer feedback that others have left and this raises the credibility for me of this website and again it's a feature that you may want to contribute to but also incorporate into your own social media strategy. If you're using LinkedIn which is one of the more professional social networks and we'll talk more about LinkedIn um, later in this program then one of the ways to be social is to take part in the question and answers and that is also a way to show your thought leadership in an area and to engage with others in your community. Here's a question we posted recently we were looking for some contribution to our women in business e-newsletter which we publish every month and the issue was about technology so we asked a technology question we asked what technologies do you implement to leverage your business activities efforts and results and what we got was a great selection of tools and resources that those in our community other 
other people in business were using and we would then share this information with our community not only using social media but using non-social media tools like our e-newsletter. TED.com is a terrific website that I want to recommend. Oh, I don't know what that was about but here we are. Um, it's a collection of 18 minute videos uh, by authors, speakers, um, environmentalists, inventors, famous people, not so famous people, but really smart people. And anyway, it's one of my favorite websites, but what I wanted to show you about it is they make it really easy to share these videos with others. So I can either click the share button right here, or I can rate this video. So I'm ex interacting with the site. The other thing they allow me to do as well as message my community through my social networks is to use the dig function. You can see this button here, dig. Now dig is a way for me to submit something that I'm interested in to allow others to think to know that I think something is good. So if I like an article on a website, if I um, like some news that I've seen online, I can submit it to dig and the more people that submit an article, the higher it ranks. You can see here, um, these were the top ranking digged items in the last 24 hours. And you can see the number of people who are indicating this is a good thing to read. So if I went on and I was specifically looking about articles on a particular subject, I could see which ones had been digged or dug. I don't know what the right term is, most. And that gives me an easy way to know what is popular in my area of interest. That's seven ways. Um, I'm sure you have a whole lot more ways that you're being social using social media. Today's task is really just to have a look back at these and see if there's any that you can incorporate into your social media strategy and also just to share with us what is it that you're doing to be more social on social media. Now you can share this post with others um, by at the bottom of this blog post, um, clicking the share link and sharing it with others, adding a comment, posting a tweet. These are all ways to be social and being social is a way, is just the way with social media. So um, that's today's lesson. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us.